Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to this new channel. We will be doing weekly and monthly readings on this channel, and today we are doing your reading for May 8th to the 14th. So the first card that came out for you is 35 Spectrals from this beautiful deck, and it says discernment, critical thinking, investigation, and insights. There is something that you are really contemplating at this point. I'm also seeing this death rider here. I don't know, it's hard to see, but there's like a shadowy figure of death with the little sickle on a horse. So I really do feel that this week you might be contemplating whether or not you should leave something or someone behind. You're trying to use your discernment, use your logic when it comes to this. Even if there is a lot of emotions tied up into this scenario, you're trying to think what is best for me? And that is your advice from spirit as well. Use your mind as well as your heart. In relationships even, which are very emotional matters, it's so important for us to half of the time, or not half the time, all of the time, use both our head and our heart. And right now, you are thinking a lot with your heart. This week is going to challenge you to think more with your head. Sure, you might love someone, you might love a job, you might love a house, but is it practical? Is it going to work out? Is it treating you with the respect that you deserve? Are you getting what you need and what you want out of this? That's the critical thinking that we see coming up for you this week. So from Mama Moon, we have the full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast, okay? So that's really great to see next to the Spectrals card because this is showing a compromise coming up, you know? Using your head and thinking, I'm not sure if this is for me, but maybe you can talk it through with whoever that person is or whatever the situation is or your boss, whatever we're talking about here. Maybe you can find something that works for everybody, finding a solution that works for everybody. That is is coming up as one of the major components of this week for you. So let's get some messages from your spirit guides. Spirit guides. Okay, we have listen. Listen. Make sure your communication is on point, y'all. Communication is not just sharing your perspective, but also being able to listen to other people's perspective and make them feel heard. And when you do that, both parties are usually going to be happy. You know, if you just say, this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna get, and the other person doesn't really feel heard, that's not a good negotiation tactic. You have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. You know, I say this all the time. People will tell you exactly who they are. I see so many of my friends, so many people I know, get into these relationships or get into these jobs and very upfront, you know, that person might say, oh, I have commitment issues or I am not emotionally available or we're only willing to pay you this amount of money. And they enter that negotiation, they enter into that without negotiating. They're just, okay, whatever, you know, I'll convince them otherwise or they'll open up eventually. And it's like, no, they're telling you exactly who they are and what they can offer. So it's time for you to listen. And that's why the critical thinking card is coming out for you as well. Are you actually listening to what this person is saying, what they want, what they're going to offer? Okay, don't agree to something out of hope and don't stay in an agreement out of hope that it will change. Okay, if you want a promotion, if you want a partner to give more to a relationship, but they're sitting here telling you, this is what I can offer you right now, take it or leave it. You have to decide whether you're taking it or whether you're leaving it, you know, don't sit here and hold out hope. So let's get your, into your tarot cards. We're gonna pull nine cards for you today. We have the full reverse. You're, you're on the precipice of a new beginning. And I think this week you are really gathering insights, gathering information to prepare you for this new journey. I'm seeing for some of you guys, you might be leaving a relationship and starting your new journey into singledom because maybe you got into this relationship because this person, you know, was saying, they were telling you pretty upfront what they can offer and then you decided to not listen to them. And now you're starting to be like, okay, well maybe, I shouldn't do that. If you are dating someone, you're gonna dodge that bullet, okay? And I don't know, We, I'm not trying to make it sound so negative, but I just think this is a week to think. This is a week to 
look before you leap plan ahead before you make any agreements and make sure it's truly what you want and is this person truly saying that they can offer that okay we have the magician coming out so you have a lot that you can manifest this week this is a powerful week of manifestation this is also number one looking out for yourself being a little bit more selfish might actually help you at this time because <laughs> be a good listener but be a little bit more selfish because you need to make sure that the lifestyle that you want is what you're actually going after the magician is saying you already have all the tools to manifest your goals your dreams you just gotta do it okay what's that phrase um what is it just do it literally just do it okay just take action just do it you're going to be a powerful negotiator this week we have the three of cups in reverse coming out so there might be some loneliness or you might feel a little bit disconnected from a certain friend or friend group maybe you weren't invited out to something or maybe you just feel some natural distance building between you and someone in your life we have the temperance card there will be a lot of emotions that you're dealing with, but I feel like you are dealing with them in a very centered and grounded way, which is really beautiful. Um, it's interesting. I, I feel like whatever this new beginning, this transition that you're making this week is, it does come with a lot of emotions. You know, it's not like we're talking about like thinking logically, thinking critically, using your mind, of course, but there that doesn't discount the fact that there is some heavy emotions here that comes with this situation. And I don't know, I, I'm seeing here with the temperance as well, you and someone else negotiating. I keep coming back to negotiations. How can we both get what we want in this relationship, in this job agreement? in this household okay some of you guys might be having roommate meetings or you might be having a discussion about your relationship or you might be having a discussion about your salary whoever you're talking to it'll look different but one thing for sure is that tauruses are going through some type of negotiation this week so center of the spread two cards flipped out we have the eight of swords reversed and the six of swords beautiful going from feeling stuck feeling trapped feeling like your needs and, and wants can't be met to finding a solution and coming up with a compromise together i do feel like a positive outcome is going to happen here and you're going to be able to successfully negotiate to the point where both people can feel heard both people can get their needs met so i love that for you it, it, it seems like a successful transition into more peace into calmer waters for you where things aren't as emotionally heavy because more of your needs and wants will be met we have the lovers coming out a decision is made a powerful decision is made that will bring you more peace now for some of you guys this could even it doesn't even necessarily mean that you are going to stay with this person or with this job or whatever it could be a peaceful agreeing to go your separate ways regardless of the outcome there is peace here there is a positive decision that's made for your greatest good and the greatest good of the other person everyone's feelings and wants and needs are being taken into account and you are coming up with a mature solution where everybody is happy or at least content with what is happening so let's get some final cards for you final three cards we have strength in reverse okay this might be a difficult conversation for you also there is a lot of major arcana cards in this reading so <laughs> whatever negotiation or discussion you're having this week it will not be easy per se but it will be life-changing this will change the course of the future and your future with this person or this organization whoever this is your future with your roommates like this won't be necessarily an easy conversation it's not like you're going to be talking about the weather you're talking about listen i feel like this is what i want this is what I need. What do you want? What do you need? And then you're going to sit and you're going to listen to them. And you are going to come up with a solution to where you both can, can get that, you know? It, it won't be easy to initiate this. But honestly, I there is a danger here that you don't have this conversation this week. And Spirit's saying, 
it is time for you to have this conversation this week. This is your green light. It's time to go with the full card in reverse. You know, this is kind of like, what are you waiting for? So I wouldn't say dive head first into it. I wouldn't say, you know, don't think about it and just start talking. Like Nick, no, give yourself some time to think, think about what you're gonna say and then have this conversation this week. I'm seeing for some of you that you might actually be confronting um, a boss or a store owner or like an organization head up if it's like in your career and talking about your hours, talking about your pay and kind of like demanding better treatment from them, okay? So again, that's not an easy conversation to initiate, but it's one you have to do. Or if you live with other people, this is having the conversation of like, hey, you really need to like put your trash away and clean up after yourself. Again, not an easy conversation to initiate, but it's one that you can do tactfully and one that has to happen. Many of you might be having several conversations this week, okay? There might be several areas of life where you need to have kind of hard, difficult conversations um, in order to bring more peace into your life. So final two cards, we have the 10 of cups reversed. Yeah, this is just a temporary blip in your happiness. I just feel like it's like a agitating thing to you that is coming up to be resolved. Like, oh my gosh, my, my roommate, my spouse, my children, they just keep leaving their stuff in the living room and it makes me mad. I'm constantly cleaning up after them. It's something like that. And then you're gonna sit them down, have a discussion and be firm yet also yielding and come up with a solution and hear them out as you're kind of calling them out, you know? So this is what I'm noticing. Um, and it has brought me some agitation. Can you just explain to me why you're leaving all your stuff in the living room, you know, what kind of solution can we come up with? That is a more healthy way to go about this than just coming out the gate like, I need you to clean up after yourself. I'm doing everything in here, gosh darn it, because then they're not going to listen to you. So <laughs> give room for the other person to say their piece and genuinely listen to it because they will tell you whether or not they're going to actually give you what you want um, as they're speaking. So. Final card, we have the 10 of pentacles. I love that, a successful and happy solution. A happy home is being restored. Also, if you are asking for a raise or promotion, this is a really good sign for money coming in this week. Okay, so I'm seeing temporary blip in emotional um, well-being. So relationships might be slightly strange, strained through little agitations, but you will be discussing them this week. We are seeing an increase in money or some type of raise or bonus or extra sales coming through. And we're seeing a positive decision being made that will lead you to happiness. Your advice this week is to take the initiative here, have these conversations and find a win-win outcome for both people. Make sure that you listen to other people as you go about this and that is your week. Thank you guys for joining me. Like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.